Top three questions I get asked on this channel. What does the Amazon Relay load board look like? How do I book loads? And when I book those loads, how do I stay so local? These are the relay rates for Tuesday, December 19th. Let's get into those SoCal relay rates. All right, as always, gonna put chapters in this, gonna do recommended up front, uh, followed by 53, then we'll look at some 26 and see what spot capacity's been like. Gonna try this uh, round number two, just tried recording this inside the car. I'm recommended here, so. Lou. Hopefully he behaves. But uh, let's jump into these recommended here. Um, recommended, San Diego going up to Beaumont, 53 foot trailer provided that is a loaded trailer going up to beaumont um 295 a mile uh let's see here next up san diego visalia trailer provided four stops let's see what those four stops are i got you going from san five taking an empty trailer up to rialto and then from Rialto taking a loaded trailer over to Fresno and then when you're in Fresno you're going from FAT1 to FAT2 uh, let's see if they put the distance on that that last one is oh I guess there's 37 miles whenever I see two that have similar names like Fat 1, Fat 2, San 3, San 5 I, I'm always kind of under the impression that maybe they're close uh, but it is going to be 37.1 miles taking an empty trailer from FAT1 to FAT2 uh, San Diego to Phoenix, 220 a mile, one pick, one stop, betting that's a loaded trailer, and yep, it is. That little black circle filled in means it's loaded. If that black circle is not filled in, that means it's empty. Uh, San Diego going over to Tucson, buck 81 a mile. That's, uh, that's Wednesday at 4.33 in the morning, so it's coming up here in about 10 hours. Um, here's one, a trailer required. A little P means provided, R means required. Trailer required for four stops. I know 435 may look good, and they say it's going to take from 630. Oh, yeah. So, oh, no, they're actually saying that's going to take, like, like four hours. I highly doubt that with a trailer required load. Um, UCA 6, they're saying you're getting loaded, and then you're taking that to Myriad of Hot Springs. Again, loaded. They're either going to be adding stuff or taking stuff off of that. And then they have you getting to your final destination. So they're saying it's loaded the whole time. My issue with those trailer required, and I do own my own trailer, but my issue with those is uh, the, Amazon is set up to like send and receive their trailers when you show up and you're doing a trailer required load i've never had one of those that didn't end up in me getting detention pay and you might be like oh that's great detention pay it stops at like 250 maybe it's 200 dollars. i think it's 250 and you end up you know it's like yay i made an extra 250 dollars but it's like it also took 10 extra hours and it's got to be real specific for me to get my trailer involved in this um Poway to Beaumont, uh, 53 foot trailer provided, uh, empty trailer running up to Beaumont. So that tells me Poway's probably got too many trailers tonight. Uh, here's a San 5 to San 5, six stops, 248 payout. Where do they have you going? They have you going to a third party site. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, this is a 26 foot box truck. They have you going from San 5 to, I'm guessing, a post office in Cathedral City, then to Thousand Palms, then to Cabazon back to from cabazon to rialto and then from rialto back to san five that might be better than some of these because a lot of those 26 foot box trucks when they end in those desert communities like palm desert palm springs uh 29 palms any of those places out there usually the closest connecting load is beaumont and so you figure you're going to beaumont hoping to get another connecting load from there so might not be bad if you're from san diego to do that um, just to end up back in san diego i'd like to see the rate be a little bit higher uh, and then they have 26 foot box truck, one pick, one stop, going from San 5 to Yuma. Um, we'll take a look at Yuma when I get to box trucks and just see like, are there any loads out there possibly coming back? Um, let's jump into those 53s. My favorite one that I like to use here is the, I call it my Otai to Vista. Basically just keeps me south of the scales, south of Rainbow Scales, south of San Onofre Scales. Uh, there's only five on there tonight, and these rates are not great. Let me turn off that auto refresh. Um, yeah, to Beaumont for 266, Poway to Paris 263, another 263. This one's at 261, and then uh, three stops going to Paris. Let's see what the third stop is. Yeah, see, they've got you going from San 5 to DSD 1. 
two weeks ago that was the one way up there was probably paying like 350 400 dollars so i mean you're you're going to from sand 5 to dsd1 which is in carmel mountain and then all the way up to paris for less than you would have made two weeks ago going up to uh just dsd1 by itself so i might have picked a good time to take off uh let's just see everything coming out of san diego as far as 53s everything in otai they say are 17 loads let's sort this by price per distance highest top money coming out of san diego right now is yeah that 53 foot trailer required i wouldn't do that i just don't believe that they're going to have you done with that load in four hours i don't think there's no way to show up with your own trailer get it loaded and or unloaded at each spot and be done within four hours that's an hour of stop i just don't see that happening i see that load 479 i could almost guarantee you'll max out the 250 in detention and you'll walk out of that with like seven 750 bucks but it'll probably take 10 hours not four uh san diego going to beaumont you, and you can see i mean these rates i mean price per distance highest they just completely fall off less than three dollars a mile it's getting ready to be the holiday time i suspect amazon has probably booked too many people with like blocks and contracts and um i'll have more on that to come on this on kind of like how i kind of tell when i think that they've done that but these rates just are not great tonight i mean lowest money on the board right now is a dollar 36 a mile to run up to stockton tomorrow i mean I don't know what your cost per mile is, but $1.36 a mile for me is, is uh, I'd, I'd be taking that load up there for free. Let's take a look at 26s. Uh, and I will not forget to come back and look at Yuma. I said I would do that. Uh, there's that San Diego to Yuma. Let's sort this by price per distance highest. They say there's 244 loads, but I just want to see where the money's at. Um, Here's, yeah, I've seen this one on here before. Here's Wednesday at 3.40, Thursday at 3.40, Sunday at 3.40, and they all are going to the same place, this uh, post office that ends 1057. Where I think, and I don't claim to know anything about 26-foot box trucks, but where I think the money is in that is doing, planning these things out days in advance. The difference in, and why I don't know anything about this is, is because like with 53, I can go park my truck down in Otai. I will wait no more than three hours and I guarantee you I'll get like a decent load. I can do the same thing up in Orange County. I can do the same thing in Ontario. Um, the bigger this channel gets, the more I hear from people. People do that in their areas too. And you know, it's just, that's just the way 53 operates. There is money and waiting to the last minute. With 26, it seems like there's more planning involved like you know i'm gonna i'm gonna plan to take this on wednesday thursday every morning at 3 40 i'm gonna take this run here's another one on on friday here's another one on saturday so these top five loads i mean there's wednesday thursday sunday friday saturday if you saw this and you liked it that could be your next five days and then once you have that as like the anchor of your night you can then build around that and uh, you know you just know that every night between 3 40 and 5 let's say that's the start of your day the end of your day you've got that load to kind of count on but let's just go through some of these others here um here's a different one this one ends in this post office ends in 928 uh the post office that ends at 928 is on 815 e street down in san diego um these are all very similar loads one pick one stop here's one that's a 792 a mile let's, let's see what the highest payout is because you know let's say you don't want to run around for 200 dollars. let's do payout highest and i bet you the rate's going to go way down yeah so right now i mean 646 dollars to do three stops 285 a mile um you're starting at sand five heading up to or heading out to calexico and then over to Welton, Arizona. Um, we'll tie that back into Yuma because it's got to be close to Yuma. I'm not familiar with that, but or with that city. But so that's like top payout, you know, five, six hundred dollars. Let's see if there's any place other than Welton. Here's Winter, Winter Haven, California. So this one's kind of. It looks like it does end close to Yuma. So Yuma will be a good spot to check from. This one goes to Fortuna Road in Yuma, Arizona, and then ends in Winter Haven, California. But according to this little map, Winter Haven looks like it's real close to Yuma. So let's say you got that 26 foot box truck and you end up over in Yuma. Let's just see what that looks like. Yuma, Arizona. There are no matches within 75 miles. Let's expand that out to 100. No matches. I find that hard to believe, but 
you can see it the same as me 150 mile yeah so your closest load to yuma is driving back to san diego so you know does it make sense to go out there for sub three dollars a mile and then just to deadhead all the way back to get another load it does not it would not for me um that's the kind of stuff i like to look at though like how far if i get to this location how far am i going to have to go to get another load it's another difference with 53 53 i can you know head up to poway from poway there's usually something either in like vista or carmo mountain go back down to otai and i just kind of rinse and repeat on that same process and just you know keep going you know just I, I, last three weeks the truck has not left san diego i've made decent money actually it's more than three weeks ago i took i've taken the better part of the last week off about three to four weeks ago the truck didn't leave san diego uh for a three-week period and i made decent money the whole time i was here i mean just just staying in town let's take a look at that spot capacity spot capacity haven't gotten much of it usually i get you know five to ten of these a day i got two yesterday this was a let's see one pick one stop 58 miles for 197 dollars this is your one and only time to negotiate with amazon try to get a higher rate um let's see here needed a shuttle hostler out in bakersfield uh 10 hours 12 18 started at 5 30 is that oh that was yesterday i'm day off i don't even know what day it is um yeah so they were looking for that i know they say 80 they'll accept 100 this one was interesting i'm not working right now but this is actually still to my knowledge this is still available they need a shuttle hostler down at sand five uh, 12 hour shifts they're looking for somebody on the 21st 22nd 23rd so you start getting these emails you respond back i mean that's something that if i were working right now i would be all over that that's my kind of you know you those three days 1200 dollars a day you can come out of that you know 3600 dollars up after three days of work and probably burn i mean if you just park down there 12 hour shift you're going to burn about six seven gallons of fuel it's going to be a lot of labor you're going to be getting in and out of the truck a lot moving a lot of trailers but uh, not a lot of fuel which i like um let's see next one they were looking for uh let's see one pick one stop 450 dollars these spot capacity rates have come down too you can see that like things right now and i'll address this in a future video but you can see that things are definitely in amazon's favor uh and then beaumont heading to torrance one pick one stop 79 dollars. they say accepting offers i usually like it when they put a rate on there usually their rate is pretty good um, but you can see that as of lately rates have not been that great so looks like i did make the right decision and taking some time off um, more to come on this for sure